here outside um, the foothills of the Sparren Mountains up in Derry. A client who has a dairy herd and uses sheep uh, on the higher hills uh, and brings them down to lamb in the spring. Normally they spring lamb down in the month of uh, April. Unfortunately, uh, last August, uh, young ram lambs were born in April, believe it or not. Uh, that's DZOs in lamb by mistake. Uh, this is the first crop of lambs I've actually seen outdoors uh, this spring. These are uh, Suffolk Cross uh, with Cheviot bloodlines. As you can see here, they're, they're all uh, uh, single lambs. We borrow these yolks. On a dairy farm spot here in the foot of Sparrow Mountains and in the Antrim Hills, uh, yolks are brought in on farmland to graze out uh, the farms during the winter months and to uh, allow a flush of uh, grass for grazing by uh, cows when they get them out in late April or early May. Grazing seasons are much shorter in this part of the world. Uh, farm fragmentation has been a big issue uh, with uh, small farms but large numbers of dairy cows with high concentrations of cows in, in given areas. And this is impacted in the sense that uh, farmers have had to put up housing facilities uh, to accommodate cows for longer periods. And in essence, in this area around a given, cows are housed for periods uh, of nine, ten months, and only allowing cows out to graze uh, during the months of May, June. July and in some instances cows are kept indoors year-round so these sheep have a place in uh, grazing out ground tillering uh, of grass and uh, allowing uh, a flesh a fresh flush of grass in the months of uh, March and April for cows to graze in late April or uh, where farmers will come in with their first cut of silage in early May.